guys, welcome to Lazy Kitchen. So today's menu is bunko with okra stew, and that is my ajene, my goat meat, my two bowls of onions, my Jamaican hot peppers, my mamani, two maggi cubes, garlic, ginger, salmon. You can use mackerel or any type of fish that you like to use. There's my catfish, my powdered shrimp. I love powdered shrimp. I don't know why, but I just love it. It gives you that kind of flavor, you know, and that's my curry powder, my zomi oil, iodized salt, my fresh shrimps, and this is semi-cooked or semi-cooked. Beef stripes, oh yeah, my dear, and that's my cassava and condo. Fresh tomatoes and my fresh okra. So what I'm gonna do now is to cook my meat. So I'm gonna blend ginger, garlic, pepper, and onions. Pour the blended mixture onto my meat. Add a teaspoonful of salt. A teaspoonful of curry powder. I'm going to add one maggi cube. Cover it and cook for 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, this is how it's going to look like. Now I'm going to add my semi-cooked beef stripe oil right here. To make them all cook together. So that they all have that kind of soft consistency. And also the flavor. To all share the same flavor so then I'm gonna stir it cover it and cook it for another 20 minutes between 15 and 20 minutes so afterwards I'm gonna take them out and start with my okra stew. So I'm going to pour my zumi oil into my saucepan. Add my momoni to the oil when it, when it, it gets melted. I'm going to add my meat to the oil when it's hot. Then I'm going to add my sliced onions. I'll fry the meat for about 10 minutes between 5 and 10 minutes then afterwards I add my sliced onions so now I'm going to blend my tomatoes Jamaican hot pepper onions garlic and ginger and pour the whole mixture into my oil my palm oil then cook it for about 20 minutes so now I'm adding the stock from the meat and the beef stripe There, so now I'm going to add my powdered shrimp. You can add as much as you like. Stir it. For that, I cook for about 10 minutes. So now I'm going to add my shrimps. Stir it up to make sure it doesn't burn. So after some time, I'm adding my adrenaline and my fish. Remember, the stew is not the stew is not really cooked. It's like almost cooked. That's why I'm adding the fish at a later time so that they don't get torn up. What I do with my okra is that I don't cut them into pieces, I blend them. Mm -hmm. This makes it have that kind of consistency for a long time. Or oh, it doesn't the sliminess does not go away when you blend it. So I cook my okra for about ten minutes. Or when you press it and the okra is soft, that means your okra is done. So now my steel is also done. 
understand what is left is for me to pour the okra into my stew. Remember after putting the, the fish, everything into the, the stew, it's supposed to cook for between 10 and 15 minutes. So now my okra is done. I'm going to pour my okra into my stew. This is very simple. If you use the blender, it's very simple. And it gives you that sliminess that you want. And it does not, it does not stop. All the sliminess does not go away. Look at how slimy it is. exactly what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to go on to prepare the banku. I've already missed my cassava and condo. I want to cook it in this. You have to knead for about 30 minutes. I didn't like the consistency of it so I added a little bit of water to make it more soft. So when it after afterwards you knead it again. And that's it. You can add as much water as you like, depending on the kind of consistency that you like. So now my panku is done. So now I'm going to take some and form them into balls. And enjoy my panku and okra. So voila! This is my banku with okra stew. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to try this um, style or this recipe and I'll see you in my next video.